What's going on guys, this is Snoo603 and Fake Thriller, and welcome to another episode of our Battlefield 3 Weapon Reviews. Today, we're looking at the G36C. This gun is available for the Engineer class only, and is unlocked after earning 110,000 points within the Engineer class. A little bit of weapon info for you on the G36C. The place of origin is Germany. The magazine capacity is 30 rounds plus one in the chamber. The fire rate is 750 rounds per minute. The fire type is all three, full auto, burst fire, or semi-automatic. The reload time is 1.9 seconds with a bullet chambered, or 2.85 seconds if you run the magazine completely dry. And the damage for the G36C is 25 hit points of damage per bullet at 8 meters, and trails down to a minimum of 14.3 hit points of damage per bullet at a maximum of 50 meters. The G36C, to me, is the epitome of versatile weapons. There are plenty of guns out there that excel in all phases of the game, but I feel that in order to do that, you need to pick and choose your attachments carefully for different ranges. The G36C is one of the few guns that, even with its most basic setup, is capable of covering the battlefield from one end to the other. This gun can do it all. It has the traditional engineer weapon damage stats, a respectable rate of fire, low reload times, your standard 30 plus 1 rounds of ammunition, a low overall recoil pattern, and a plethora of attachments, of which any will allow this gun to excel in any situation. It's one of the few guns that if I happen to pick it up, I don't care what attachments are on it, because to me it's such a universal gun. Its capabilities allow it to be used by anyone of any playstyle. The best thing about this gun is its combination of the fire rate and the reload time. 750 rounds per minute isn't jaw dropping, but it's high enough to match or beat out most of the guns in this game. If you have good aim and you know you can win out most of your engagements, then the very fast reload time plays into your favor. I love walking through one enemy and reloading incredibly fast, just in time to engage another enemy with a full magazine and then repeat the process. The gun as a whole is a complete balanced package, with no real faults. It's to the engineer class as to what the M16A3 is to the assault class. Maybe overused at times, but certainly not overpowered. Really you can pick any combination of attachments on this gun and I would use it. I prefer not to use zoom scopes as they don't really play one well in my personal playstyle, but they would still work great on this gun. Personally, I prefer to run with the holographic sight, the foregrip, and the laser sight. The G36C is one of the few guns that isn't adversely affected by the foregrip. This whole combination allows me to wreck people no matter what part of the battlefield I'm running. Adding a heavy barrel will simply help you to dominate most players from long range as well. I'm going to give the G36C a 5 out of 5. To me, it's the quintessential gun of Battlefield 3. Throw your favorite set of attachments on it, and go to town to this thing, because it's one of the handful of guns in this game that is the complete package. We originally reviewed the G36C for Pixel Enemy, however the day after it was posted, DICE released the massive patch that changed almost everything in the game. So here we are again with an updated G36C. Although the stats have technically changed, it's safe to say this weapon still reigns supreme among other weapons in the Engineer class. The G36C has one of the fastest reloads in the game. Combine that with the higher than average fire rate and an incredibly controllable recoil, this gun is perfect in almost any situation. As with many weapons in the Engineer class, the long range damage is relatively low when compared to weapons outside of the Engineer class. This might make you think twice before engaging an enemy at extreme distances. I'd recommend you use the red dot sight with the foregrip and the flash suppressor. I'm rating the G36C a 5 out of 5. You really can't go wrong with this weapon on any map or in any game type. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up yet another Shoosty Bang Battlefield 3 weapon review. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Overall, the G36C has earned 5 out of 5 stars. And as always, we're interested to know what you guys think of this weapon, so leave us a comment and tell us what you would rate it and why. Also, if you could rate the video with either a like or dislike, we'd appreciate it. And finally, if you're interested to see what we think of other weapons in Battlefield 3, check the description for a link that will take you to the entire playlist. Thanks for watching.